Well, good evening, everybody. This is your boy, FNG Moto. Hey, I know it's been a long time since I've spoken to you all, and I, put, I know it's been a long time since we put up a video, period. And I'm gonna explain why here in a minute. But first, roll the intro. it's been so long is the tail end of last year and the beginning of this year has not been very good was not very good to uh, the family unit and you know given the state that the world is in right now there are a lot of people that are worse off than we are um, we're fortunate enough to have our health still have our jobs um, and have very little impact negatively from this virus epidemic pandemic excuse me whatever you want to call it going on right now and i just felt it was a bit trivial for me to come on here and bitch and whine about the problems that i was having and why i wasn't posting up videos um but i've decided that you know there's over there's 300 people out there on this planet <laughs> that took the time out of their day to not only watch some of our content but actually subscribe to the channel because they enjoyed what they saw and heard so to those that subscribe thank you of course but i also owe you an explanation as to why the channel has been so dormant and i battled like i said i went back and forth on whether or not i should even bother but in the end i decided hey you know, it, I need to do right by everybody that's watched. So, for those of you that don't know, I am a veteran of the United States military, specifically the Air Force. My wife is still active duty. And I, well, let's just say I had some underlying, underlining medical conditions that were plaguing me since I've been out of the military. Why, well, even while I was in. Um, and I've neglected it, and I, while neglecting the medical issues, I was also neglecting my family on top of it. Um, I, uh, I suffer from a severe, uh, severe depressive disorder, PTSD, and anxiety, along with some physical ailments that aren't as big a deal. And for years, I, you know, I got help when it got really, really bad. And then after a few years, that I, you know, things got a lot better. And then I was like, you know what? I don't need to take the medication anymore. I don't need to go see a therapist anymore. I'm going to do this on my own. And, you know, I was fine for a few years after that. And then I started to slowly slip back into that state of depression where, for those of you that don't know, it's, it, it, it's almost like having the flu all the time, only you're not running a fever. I mean, that's the best way I can describe it. You're constantly sluggish, you're tired, your body hurts, you don't want to get out of bed, you don't want to do anything, you're disinterested in everything, um, and you just pretty much let yourself go, and I have. Um, so, after days, weeks, months of back and forth with the misses, I, I decided it was time for me to go back to my therapist and get back, put back on medication while at the same time deciding that it was time that I got with the VA and figured out if there was any compensation due to me for these conditions. So I started working with a local DAV rep and he helped me out with the paperwork process, gathered my medical records and um, sent it into the VA. I wasn't expecting anything aside from a, a no letter saying that, you know, nothing is service connected, but, you know, to my surprise, they did say that my mental disorders are service connected, have rated me with a disability rating and, and I'm still pending some of the physical aspects of it um, so that was D 
dealing with that last part of the, the last half of last year, maybe the last four months of last year. Um, and then New Year's Eve, I had to make one of the toughest decisions that I've ever had to make to this date as an adult, or as a human, period. And that was putting my beloved dog down, Hendrix. Um, for those of you, you know, uh, uh, he never really made an appearance on the channel. I wanted to keep him out of it, but I just spilled his name, so. But anyway, I had to put him down. He was sick, his hips were going up, was go were going out on him. And, um, uh, and I was being selfish, trying to prolong the inevitable. So I put him down, and that, that and that really hit me hard, man. I was really, really depressed for a couple weeks. You know, I know to some people that may sound stupid because a dog is just an animal, but to me, a dog, he was, is still part of our family. I mean, he's been around. We've had him for we had him for 13 years. That's a long time. And 13 years. Uh, raising a toddler basically because they never get dogs never get past the toddler stage you still got to feed them and you know make sure they go to the bathroom and bathe them and if you really think about it so I was devastated I, I hadn't cried that hard since my grandmother passed away a few years back before I started all this um, but yeah that rocked me it really hit me hard um, we also ran into some financial troubles nothing that uh, and it all pales in comparison to what some of you out there are going through. Like I said, man, I hope this doesn't come across as a bad taste because I'm not trying to whine and complain about uh, the way my life is going given the way things are shaking out right now for a lot of people out there that are really hurting. And we ran into some financial difficulties and that I had to get a second job because I mismanaged money and uh, made some really piss poor decisions. But. You know, I, I can't, like I said, I can't bitch about it. I still have my primary job, and I was able to, when I needed to, get a second part-time job, which I'm going to hopefully be getting, be, be able to stop doing here shortly, in the next couple of months. But, uh, working two jobs, family life, um, dealing with the mental instabilities that I have, uh, and then some of the physical ailments that are stemming from that you know it's been a challenge and I want to thank everybody for not giving up on us and hopefully moving forward we'll have I have a ton of content I really do I just lost the motivation to do anything with it and you know one of the signs of depression is you know you, you lose uh, interest in things that you had a passion for you, know, you enjoy doing and I did. I lost interest. I didn't feel like doing this shit anymore. Excuse my language, but that's just the God's honest truth. Um, it became more of a chore than it did uh, something that I enjoyed doing. Right? And it shouldn't be that way. But I got some. Uh, I got some really, really nice, really good stuff from the end of last summer and a few rides that we went on um, throughout the year. You know, one of the major reasons why I got a bike um, was because people that have certain, uh, people that suffer from depression and uh, PTSD, anxiety, especially me, I have major, major social anxiety. I hate large groups of people. I, I don't like, I don't people very well to begin with. I, but I don't like being around a lot of large groups of people. This is a way to help alleviate that, and to some extent it has, but I even lost interest in riding. But as you can see, I'm back on the saddle, I'm top of my beautiful beast. I love this girl. Ooh. Oh yeah, baby! And she sounds so, so lovely. Anyway. But that's, what, that's what's going on in a nutshell. Uh, I, I've been dealing with a lot of shit. Uh, for those of you out there that are dealing with this coronavirus that's hit you negatively, my heart goes out to you. 
got some our, our sincerest condolences from my family to yours. Uh, this is no joke, so people, please stay home if you need to stay. If you have to stay home, I have to go to work. I'm considered essential, which makes me feel good about myself. But I digress. Uh, if you don't need to go out, man, stay home. Uh, if you got somebody that's ill, please take care of yourself first. Because uh, if you don't take care of yourself first, you won't be able to take care of them. So make sure you're okay and you're doing your precautions and be able to tend to your, uh, to your the loved one that you have that's ill. And hopefully they'll pull through all this. Together we will pull through all this. <clears throat> Alright, good afternoon everybody. So, I ended the vlog on a very negative and uh, <laughs> foul mouth tirade and um, after reviewing the footage and just listening my, listening to myself and the way I sounded, I didn't want to end a vlog that way that I thought could have, could, could have had some positive effects. So I'm reshooting the end of it and I'm going to splice this in or edit this in, whatever, however you want to say it. Anyway, so long story short, I didn't like the way I ended it. I cut it out. I'm putting this in. And all I really want to tell you guys is to stay safe, ride safe, keep the shiny side up, and don't be a douche to one another. Wow. Peace.